Petaling Jaya MP Maria Chen Abdullah said there was no need to increase the penalty for violations of the standard operating procedures during the movement control order. In a statement, she said that the government should instead instill greater awareness and precise guidelines. This came following the statement by Senior Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob yesterday that the government may amend the Prevention and Control of Infectious Diseases Act 1998 to increase compound fines against those violating the SOPs. Maria said that ministers must first stop flouting the SOP. She said that this is as it will only bring great disrepute to the SOP when these top officials are not punished for their violation. She added that the government should have aggressive campaigns on all platforms to raise awareness on the guidelines amongst the rakyat. And they could even make daily announcements via mobile vans. Maria also suggested that the government release specific data on the daily COVID-19 cases, including giving details on districts and towns. Lastly, she called on the government to provide clear guidelines on what the SOP entails, as it currently seems to be at the discretion of the police. She gave the example of cases where fines were issued by the police for being on the streets after 10pm, yet nowhere was a curfew or time restraint announced as part of the SOP. Maria said, Statements that the government will protect the economy and people's lives are heard many times. Unfortunately, clarity is not part of the equation.